Hey guys, what is up? I am You Know What, and let's get this video started. Today we'll be doing the first episode of a new series I like to call Pokemon a a Analysis. In this series, we'll be analyzing certain Pokemon that you, the viewers, will be commenting down below on my videos. Most of the time, I'll be choosing one of them and making a video on them. But for this one, I chose for, the, for this one, the first one, I chose to use a Pokemon that I chose. I chose Parasect. His competitive tier is NU for never used. His base stats are 60 HP, 95 attack, 60 special attack, 80 defense, 80 special defense, and 30 speed. Now, for you to use him competitively, which I don't know why you would, unless you're doing like a Gen 5 never used team, he would, I would pref <laughs> the best to get the best results. You want to give him 40 HP on his EVs, 40 on his EVs, 48 HP, 252 attack, 208 speed. You'd want to have him with the ability, I mean, with the, yeah, with the ability ability dry skin, and with the nature ad adamant. You'd want to also give him either leftovers or life orb. His move set would be a Swords Dance move set with Spore, Swords Dance, Seed Bomb, and Brick Brick. Now Parasect, now Parasect has been originated, was created after a certain type of fungus di disease that goes through certain insects. This is a very exotic disease and usually and rarely ever happens. We'll use ants as a example. <clears throat> now let's say an ant actually gets this disease. He'll first his the fungus will start eating away at his mind as it starts to take over his body, resulting in some pretty strange reactions. The rest of the ant colony will will notice that this ant's acting crazy and the report to the queen and if the queen approves then they then a certain soldier ant will pick up the infected ant and take them two three four miles away from the ant hill ant, ant colony and they'll set them down to die all alone because this infection is actually contagious they would have to get them as far away from their colony now, once the ant's there to, for, for dead, the ant will just walk around and do whatever it wants, because it's really the fungus that's doing something. After a while, the fungus will start will take over the entire body, and what it'll start doing, it'll, it'll be wanting to grow, which means that it'll grow out of the ant, thus resulting in some pretty cool things, which is why Paris was a, was a regular little... Whatever ant, whatever insect he is, and then he has a mushroom on his back, which is really the fungus growing out of him, cause he's dead. Well, pretty weird. All right, now let's get back to him being used, him as a Pokemon. His abilities are Effect Spore and Damp. His abilities are Effect Spore, Effect Spore, Dry Skin, and his hidden ability is Damp. His type is Bug Grass, and his egg groups are Bug Grass. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now he's showed in the anime multiple times throughout his creation, I guess. <laughs> but he gets one episode all to himself. It was it was an episode in Kanto. It's called a Chancy Operation. In this, Ash and his friends find themselves at the doorstep of a young lady that runs a hospital. Now they were found at the doorstep because Brock was magnetized to her. <laughs> they. Brock decides to have everybody help in having her Paris evolve so that she could use his spores to make medicine. They battle it a lot, and after a while, it finally evolves. <coughs> Once it evolves, she goes on using it as medicine, then they leave, like always. Parasex Pokedex entry is... Kind of creepy in most most cases, but there is a pretty funny one. It's in Pokemon Stadium. It's called. It, it says the bug host is controlled by the mushroom that scatters poisonous spores. The spores are sometimes used as medicine in China. That's right, in China, nowhere else in the world, because of course the United States couldn't use parasitic spores for for medicine because you know the united states was way too cool for that i mean only china gets that i mean nobody else could could do that <laughs> uh, this is really if you want to cry i don't live in china i'm kidding 
all right thanks thanks for watching <laughs> this ends this is the end of the video um if you want to find all the places where i found this information you can look in the description like and subscribe and as we all know now kanto is located in china see ya